Got another starter pull rope uh, replacement. This time it's on a, a tiller, MTD tiller. That's on a 500 series Briggs & Stratton engine. I think this is the same engine they used to uh, label as uh, Briggs & Stratton 3.5 horsepower. And then at, at, at one period of time they, they used to write uh, Briggs & Stratton Classic on the, on the shroud. First thing we need to do is remove this top plastic piece. It's held on by two, two bolts. Kind of clips in, so... Next thing is to remove the shroud which holds our uh, the starter assembly, which is right here. There's three bolts holding the shroud to the engine. Before I can remove the shroud, I need to uh, disconnect the dipstick tube from the shroud by removing these two bolts. I don't need to remove the tube all the way from the engine. If you do, uh, make sure you clean this area so no dirt gets, gets into the engine. Um, it's real important on these engines because they don't have a filtered lubrication system. Um, so it's real important to change the oil on a regular basis and uh, make sure that try and keep it as clean as possible. So just remove these bolts holding it on. And then you can lift it off the engine. Okay, the first thing you want to do is, is cut some cord. Um, it, I usually use about seven feet of this stuff. If you get real, if you get cord that's real, um, uh, not real flexible, like this is kind of um, stiff, you might want to go a little bit shorter. Um, I cut this to six and a half feet. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to heat the ends so that they don't fray, come apart anymore. Uh, in fact, I'm going to completely get rid of this one. Um, recut this one. And melt it and kind of kind of roll it. Makes it easier to insert into the starter assembly and also it keeps it from coming apart. Uh, next thing you want to do is take your rope and uh, put it through the handle. Uh, if it doesn't go through, take a pair of needle nose pliers, grab it and pull it through. Then tie a knot in the end. I'm going to see that it's starting to fray here. I'm going to that down. Then pull the cord through. This is your shroud with your rec recoil starter assembly. Um, this hole on the outside is where you'll be uh, inserting the, the pull cord through. You want to uh, tighten this up about seven turns. So just pick a reference point and tighten it seven times. This part right here on this uh, this assembly, this pulley thing, um, this is where the rope's going to pull through. So uh, you want at the end of when you finish winding this up, you want to. Uh, this is where you're going to insert the rope and tie it off. So I'm going to use that as a reference point with this uh, the hole where the first hole where the rope goes through. So it's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. After I uh, line up this this part of the 
uh, the starter assembly right here with the, with a hole on the outside. I'll go ahead and insert the the pull cord and route it through the hole. It's pretty easy to. It's usually pretty easy. And then take my needle nose and pull it through. Now, um, on this uh, this rope pulley thing, there's a little knob right there. You can turn this over, take a rag to protect the finish, take a pair of vice grips, adjust it just so it's clamping down enough to hold this uh, assembly from uh, recoiling, and uh, clamp it down. It's real light. You don't want it too tight because it'll. You don't want to bend anything. So clamp it down, set it down, then tie a knot here. Pull your uh, cord through. You don't want this too long though because it will interfere with things. Hold on a sec. About like that. Pull it through. Then release, release your vice grips which just fell off. And uh, let, the, let it recoil the rope in. And that's it. You're ready to reinstall this uh, shroud. Now uh, reinstall the shroud. It's three bolts that hold it on. Look at the sweat from uh, it's so hot here. I'm on the East Coast and it's it's got to be over 100 in this in this garage. Tighten down the bolts. Reinstall the bolts that hold the uh, dipstick tube onto the shroud. Install the plastic piece. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video and uh, thanks for watching.